I'm Greg. And I'm Billy. Together with the Fuji guys, we've got an exciting uh, video here on our top features for this brand new F70 EXR camera. And I'm going to start, Billy, by telling the folks about the EXR mode out there. Yep. Of course, the mode dial on the back of the camera here, the bright red setting, the big EXR, that's where you put it. This camera is on auto EXR right now, which means this sensor is going to adjust to three different lighting conditions and actually adjust the sensor to optimize the best picture quality. So whether you're in bright light, whether you're in low light, or whether you're in contrasty light, which is a mix between the two, this camera will adjust and give you the best quality. It's an award-winning technology. We have a separate video for EXR technology that I'd like you to check out if you want to know a little bit more about it. But other than that, the EXR mode, all you need to remember is that when you have it there and you combine it with the power of our auto scene recognition, which recognizes macros and backlit situations, you really are using the most intelligent automatic camera on the planet. So there, I said it. The next great feature I want to tell you about this camera is its incredible lens. Uh, what makes this camera the special camera it is besides the EXR sensor is this incredible 10 times optical wide angle zoom lens that allows me with macro setting to get in close to my subject. It has dual image stabilization so even when shooting telephoto with my arms extended I get good clear crisp pictures. It zooms very smoothly. Uh, the autofocus on it is incredibly quick. Mm -hmm. I tried it for the first time last weekend, Billy and Honest and everyone out there. It was the most incredible experience for a compact camera that I've had in a long time just because of the lens on this camera. Any comments from yourself? Yeah, I actually had the camera for about three weeks now. I've been playing around with it and, and usually I'm very skeptical about you know big zoom cameras and compacts, but I'm so impressed on how good and how sharp this lens is, how fast it is, mm -hmm. how smooth it is, how quick the camera can change its, its different modes and, and it's just so impressive. Uh, having that 27 mil lens that goes all the way to like 270 millimeters, you know, 10 times optical zoom. On top of that, I tried to push the border, to the boundaries of the camera, and in the menu systems, you can enable digital zoom, and I tried that out as well. Right. Did a full yeah. max zoom, I then enabled digital zoom, zoomed out completely as well, and to my surprise, you know, this object that was I was taking a picture was so far away, there's no way I can read the text, and I can see the text so clearly, so sharp, even with the digital zoom option on the camera. Nice. So I'm so impressed with this feature. You know, if it's not EXR technology that you guys are looking to this camera, that 10 times zoom in a compact piece of camera that fits in your shirt pocket, it's unbelievable, Greg. Mm -hmm. right? Unbelievable. Well, let's go. Those are the two main things in my mind why most of you have either bought or thinking of buying this camera, the EXR technology and this fantastic compact size with the 10 times zoom but there's some great other features we've got to just quickly tell you about as well. Absolutely Greg and I know the everyone's interested in, in buying digital SLRs and a lot of people own digital SLRs you know I love digital SLRs myself when, when taking pictures but there's always that time that I want to have a, a nice companion camera the F70 just fits that bill being that big zoom just like an SLR but on top of that there's also manual control so on the back of the dial pad if you switch it to the M mode um, you can actually access things like aperture mm -hmm. and shutter and control that and it gives you that flexibility that you get with an SLR. So turning the camera on in the manual mode, uh, all you have to do is access that is to push the exposure button on the top and now you have controls to go and change the shutter speeds all the way down to 8 seconds and as fast as um, whatever it wants to go up to. Um, we're looking at about one two thousandths of a second, which is more than enough to, to freeze an action shot. You also have the controls of aperture, so you can open it and close it. There's actually a little light meter on the bottom that will help you balance the shot if you don't know anything about manual controls. As long as that dial goes, stays in the middle, you've got proper exposure. Of course, being autistic, you don't have to do that, okay? Now, a lot of people don't know this, but if you switch to the program auto mode, uh, this is a great little automatic mode for some of you who want to have a little bit more control over white balance and you know sharpness and saturation, stuff like that. But on top of that, if you actually go into the menu system, you select the shooting mode. Within the P mode, you actually, actually have an aperture priority mode, which allows you to change the aperture, which of course changes the depth of field from uh, being very shallow or, or very long. And knowing nothing about photography, you have that mode set up. 
you can push the button, change the aperture, and the camera is going to automatically change the uh, shutter speed to the appropriate balance of, of lighting for that uh, situation. So great little feature to have. On top of that, there's also this continuous shooting mode, which I love to have. It's called the final 12 mode. There's actually different modes in the continuous shooting. It shoots at five frames a second. But in the final 12, what's interesting about this is that if I go and turn this on, and it's going to the menu system, I switch continuous, I select final 12, I'll push OK on that. If I hold the shutter button down, it'll just keep snapping away, okay? And it won't save the images until I let go. So once I let go of that shutter, that shutter button, it's going to save those last 12 pictures. So the 40 shots I took before is not going to be saved. I don't need those pictures. My subject runs into the, through the scene, whether it's clicking, kicking a soccer ball, you know, playing baseball or hockey. I got that perfect shot. Again, great for capturing kids that are on the go all the time. Yeah, great for sports, great for candids. Um, you just blew my secret. Everyone thinks I get the best pictures and the most candid pictures sometimes, and it's often because I just use that continuous mode and pick my favorite one out of those several dozen pictures to take. Um, another cool feature on this camera is the fact that, well, every digital camera you can shoot movies with, we know that. Yeah, you know, whether it's, you know, uh, F70 or S1500, they, they both have great shooting modes. But this camera, you can zoom while you're shooting the movie. So, not every digital camera out there, in fact, very few of them have the ability to, while you're shooting, to be able to zoom in and out while you're shooting your movie. And uh, after a quick test on this one, I can tell you that uh, the focus and exposure adjust beautifully as you're zooming in and out as well. So this is a pretty decent little video camera as well, Billy. I'm going to pass it back to you. Thank you, Greg. Uh, two last uh, main features of this camera is a new feature with EXR technology, and it's called the Pro Focus Pro Low Light Mode. And these are the actually scene modes that can be found in the SP dial on the back of the camera. So when you turn it on, most likely it, it should be already, already be there. So if you push the menu system, you can select the Pro Focus or Pro Low Light Mode. These modes are cool in the sense that, you know, if you look at a digital SLR and you shot with digital SLRs, you'll find that a lot of pictures you take, uh, you have that blurring effect on the background where you get that shallow, shallow depth, depth of field. field yeah. And the great thing about SLRs and, and, and why they can do it so easily is because of the size of the sensor compared to the lens. Mm -hmm. Now, when we take a look at a compact camera's sensor size versus SLRs are, are, are not as large, as, of course, as an SLR, and therefore the effects of shallow depth of field is very, very hard to get. Mm -hmm. In fact, when you try to change things like aperture, even on a, on a compact camera, it's hard to throw the focus in the background out. And so this new feature called Pro Focus it will actually take multiple shots, it will cut out the foreground and, and cut out the background, it will blur the background up, merge it to one picture, and now you have that same effect you have with a digital SLR. It's like having a sort of Photoshop program built onto the camera, doing that little trick for you. It's yeah, except that would have. probably take you about an hour in Photoshop to do <laughs> the same thing that, that yes. we're doing in the camera here. So. Anyways, that's excellent. And then, of course, uh, in low light mode, it takes that step further and takes four different shots. It stitches it all together. And now what you have is a very clean picture uh, that it does when it processes this noise off the image in conjunction with the super low noise EXR technology that's built into the camera. So these are some very good top features that we found with, yeah. with the F70. Of course, you'll find out there's a lot more other features that you'll find that we don't talk about because a lot of other cameras have that feature like face detection technology. But until then, guys, um, this is just some of the, the top end features. My name is Greg. My name is Billy. Then if you're Greg, then I'm Billy. <laughs> oh, well. Anyways, we're the Fuji guys, and if you're <laughs> riding the F70, it's a treat. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.